One of the great benefits of traveling by vehicle is you don't have to suffer. No one wants to eat trail mix for 21 days, so if you've got a vehicle, you might as well use the darn thing and pack along some decent kit, some good food and friends, and have a great time out in the wilderness. And bring the right tools for the job, because no one wants to be cutting an avocado with a credit card. I'm Jim Markle with Red Ox Manufacturing. We're here with the Big Bull Roll-Up, which we've currently set up as a gourmet kitchen. First off, I like to have something to eat out of and also have guests along. So I have my personal mess kit, which is an old military surplus mess kit. And then I've got these handy dandy folding plastic plates, which are like an origami. This always provides good entertainment on the trail. I just like to hand them out at mealtime. Moving along. I've got one of our packing cubes, and inside that packing cube, I like to keep my cleanup stuff, so scrubby, huggies, some Dr. Bronner's, some roll-up towels, which are flat and collapse real nice. Here in this pocket, plastic bags, utensils. I also have one of these stretch cords, so after you're done and you want to clean up, you can like dry out your, your towels. Of course, you can never have enough plastic bags. Those are handy to store leftovers. Also crucial is a headlamp. Having your own light right here where you're working, you must have that. Of course, duct tape. And another one of our color-coded packing cubes, I have some basic spatulas, wood spoon, fork, spork. This is a titanium one. My knives. Having a good set of chef knives is key to making your day go easier as, as a cook. All three of them are lightweight. They don't take up a lot of room. I normally store them right in there and they work well with the chopping board. I saw these at one of the expos. I can't pass this stuff up. They kind of hook together like this and so they stow on themselves like so. The aluminum foil, always have a roll of tin foil. You could, heck, you can even fix the air intake on your Toyota if you needed to with that. A set of tongs and of course, can opener, oversized, and something to light your fire. That's all my utensil side. More great accessories. Um, I picked up a couple mugs. I got this one in Africa. Then I got this awesome titanium one at one of the expos from a company called Snow Peak, which I have a few of their things. This is a double walled titanium cup because we know we need our coffee. A small chopping block. Another Red Ox packing cube. This one is my spice collection. Everything from dill, ginger, rosemary, and of course, extra salt, pepper, some sugar, which is nice for caramelizing. And then I have cooking oil, sherry, and soy. Last but not least is my coffee setup. So a jet boil with the French press setup, a couple canisters, more than enough to last for quite a while on the, on the road. And that's everything I personally pack in my Big Bull roll up when I'm out on the trail. I've, I've taken a kit like this with a crew up to 15 people out for three weeks, um, and we ate well and didn't want for anything. Next up, we're gonna prepare an easy trail dinner, which after a long day of eating dust and bouncing around in a truck, your crew will appreciate.